Hey guys, so I don't even remember the last time I've done a haul video for you guys. Do you guys remember? If you remember, you have really good memory because I don't. It must, it, was, it must have been a really long time ago. But I got a package in the mail yesterday and I decided to wait to open it. So I'm going to open it with you guys. Um, so alright, let's open it. I got one of these ra uh, razor knife thingies, whatever you call them. Oh, that was easy. And it has popcorn in it. Not actual popcorn, but you know, like the shipping popcorn. <laughs> okay, let's see. So we've got the invoice. What? Is this what they mean by little sample? I was totally expecting like a little, you know, container or something. Okay, so this is a little sample of the photo finish lid primer. And then I was supposed to get another sample and I even like, I even emailed them and told them I forgot to include it in my package, but I guess they still didn't include it. Oh well, it's okay. So this is what I have been loving for, the Smashbox Soft Box Palette, or Soft Box Eye Palette. And so, all right, let's open this. Oh, is this it? Wait, oh, here's it. okay, here's the actual thing. This is the photo Photo finish lid primer. Okay, this is what I was expecting. Not not a little tiny like sample pack like that. Okay. But they're still missing one other sample, I think, unless it's like hidden here in here too. Is it? I don't think we're gonna get that lucky. Okay, we can let the palette. Okay, so let me show you what this looks like before I even open it. It's made of like that kind of like recycled um, paper material. Oh gosh. And here's what the inside looks like. A bunch of gorgeous neutrals. And then there are two gel liners on the side. There's a bronze liner and a taupe liner. I figured I should use my autofocus camcorder today so that you can see everything better. But yeah, I think it's picking up the colors pretty well. And then it also comes with a dual-ended brush, which, oh, this is pretty cool. I don't have too many brushes like this where it's like a flat top liner brush, so that's cool. I appreciate those sometimes. And then, wow, this is a pretty, like, fluffy eyeshadow brush. Okay, so I'm not going to swatch all these now, but I think what I'll do is I'll do, like, a blog post on it later with all the swatches and everything. Truffle looks really pretty. Look at that one. I really, I love all these shades right here. Okay, so that's truffle right there. Ugh, I love taupes. And then, I said I wasn't going to swatch all these, but I might just end up doing it. Here's stone, which kind of reminds me of Max, uh, what do you call it? Max Copper Plate. And that's like one of my favorite shades ever. So that's that right there, stone. It's like a grayish matte taupey color. And that's probably going to work well for the brows, too. And, okay, I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do Sienna, this dark, darker color right here. Because that's the darkest shade in this palette. Oh, that's a really pretty color. There's Sienna right there. Okay, so I'm going to do, like, a full thing of swatches later on um, on my blog. Check that out. But uh, I'm really excited about this. Like, these are perfect colors for wedding makeup, too. Gorgeous. The only thing that it's missing are some like violets and stuff like that. Um, but I do like how it has like a soft pink in there and everything. So beautiful. This is what I wish like the Naked palette had more of. I wish they had more of these like lighter, softer shades. But yay! Okay, I'm gonna grab everything else and continue the rest of my haul. Okay, so I'm gonna go through the makeup items first. I went to this like beauty supply store that's pretty close by me and I picked up a few things. I got this plush red lip liner from NYX, and I love NYX lip liners. You do not need to splurge on lip liners unless you just really want to for some reason, or the packaging's amazing, whatever, but this, I mean, these work just as well, and I love them. So I have, I actually have that on underneath the MAC Viva Glam Cindy lipstick right now. I realize that I'm wearing a lot of the stuff that I'm, well, actually I'm wearing like all the stuff that I'm about to show you, or most of it. Okay, I also grabbed these two nail polishes because I saw that they had matte nail polishes, so I thought, okay, I have to try them out. And I've, I've always loved NYX. If you've watched me ever since back then, NYX is a great product, or NYX is a great brand. Um, and these were $3.59 each, so they are a little bit on the pricier side, like for me, you know, because I don't know, I don't really like spending too much on nail polish, but 
I think these are totally worth it. And as you can tell, I have this one on. This is in sky blue. And then this taupey color is in taupe. Perfect, because I love taupe. I still haven't worn this one yet. But I have to say that these go on so smoothly. Like, I was really impressed. I didn't expect that. I usually don't expect that of matte nail polishes. But this came went on so smoothly. It was like, it was like a dream to apply onto the nails. I, I don't even know how to explain it. But definitely apply a top coat on top of it for the extra shine, since it is matte. Okay, now this next item I have been lemming for, for like, probably like a couple years now. And I finally just splurged and got it, and that would be the NARS Madly blush. Let me show you that. So that's it right there. I don't want too much light reflecting on it or else it's a little hard to see. But it's pretty much like a tawny, pinky... I don't know how to describe it. It's like a tawny, slightly pinky color. And I do have that on. I tried to put on more so that you could kind of see it better. Um, it's going to look darker like in certain areas because I also have bronzer on. But it's mostly in like this area right here. So it kind of serves as like a blush and bronzer in one for me. And it does have a bit of shimmer to it. Not anything crazy. So that's that. Let me compare it to this other blush that I got a while back that I was hoping would be similar. And that would be the Maybelline Fit Me blush right here. And this one is in, what is it, light nude. I guess you could kind of consider this like a nude color, but not really. But they are kind of similar. It's just that this one is a bit more matte. Like you see a little bit, you see little tiny specks of shimmer in there, but it doesn't really show up on the face at all. So this one is just has more of like a satin finish and this one's more matte. And I, I really like them both. Okay, now we're going to move on to the fashion items. So, I went to Zara about a week or two ago, and they had this huge sale going on, which is very, very rare. So, of course, I had to take advantage of it. And I got a couple clothing items that I'm not going to show now. I'll probably, like, style them, and then I might post them on my blog or something later on, outfit of the day. Um, but I did want to show you the purse, because I've been on, like, this handbag kick. I don't know what it is. So I got this handbag, and I really love it. It's just so simple, and it goes with a lot of outfits. And this is what the handle looks like. It's kind of longer. So that's that. And I believe this one was about $20, which is really good for Zara. Now I'm also going to show you my ASOS haul, which about half of it, I think more than half of it, I'm going to return. So I figured I'll just like show you what I originally had you know, intended on getting, but yeah, I just thought I would show it to you before I end up returning the rest of it. So here's one skirt that was supposed to be like a longer, high-waisted, fitting type of skirt. And look at what it ended up being. It's like one of those like micro mini skirts. This is not what I had wanted. So I'm definitely going to return that one. And I also got a couple pairs of shoes, but they just don't fit right or they're like uncomfortable and I just don't really feel like they're worth keeping. So I'm going to return them, but I did like the style of it. So here's one of them. It's a really fun peep toe pump with, it's like a satin material and has that um, textured pattern to it. So it's pretty fun. But yeah, I don't know, my, my feet just like slip out of it and... It's just not the most comfortable, so I don't think I'm going to keep this one. And those are by the ASOS brand, and I also grabbed this pair, which is an Aldo brand, but I was like really, I was really excited to get these, and they just, they're very, very stiff. That's what she said. So, okay, here's, here they are. They're brogues, or it's like flat Oxfords, and I've been wanting shoes like this for a really long time. This would have looked so cute with this one outfit that I'm, like I've been putting together, but yeah, they're just really stiff. I don't know. I don't know if I should just like keep them and try to break them in because I like the style of it, but yeah. So like I said, I've been on a handbag kick, so I bought a whole bunch and I'm going to show you like the worst front to the best. So this is one of them. It looked a lot cuter on the site and on like the model. But I don't know, I'm just not feeling it. I didn't even take it out of the bag. I saw it and I was just like, no, I'm not, I don't want to keep it. I'm going to return it. So that's that one. Next one, this one looks so much cuter on the site too. But in person, I'm kind of meh about it. Especially the color. 
it's kind of like this weird pale gray color. I mean, like, the style is cute. It's kind of like a smaller type of bag. But I, I think I'm going to return this one, too. I don't know. I'm just not crazy about the color. So those last two I just showed you, I'm pretty certain that those are the, from the ASOS brand. This one is an Aldo brand purse. And it's really cute. It's like this muted pink color with a short um, gold chain handle. And I just might keep this one, but I wish it was a little bigger. Like, the smallness of it is kind of awkward in a way. I don't know. I feel like it's a little girl's purse or something. You know, do you think it's kind of, like, too small? If you guys think I should keep any of these, let me know, because I'm just not really sure. And then, of course, I had to save the best for last, and this was, like, the one thing that I really, really wanted and was excited to get from ASOS. And let me, make, let me check on what the brand is. I'm pretty sure, yep, it's an ASOS brand one. So I got this big envelope clutch. Isn't this so cute? I know it's huge, it's like taking off the entire screen. It's not like real leather, so it doesn't look, you know, completely legit, but it's, I just think it's so cute and I can't wait to style this with some outfits. So I think this haul is going to be super long, which I hope is okay since I haven't done this in a long time. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, and do check out my vlog, and follow me on Twitter. And thank you so much for tuning in. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye.